up everybody welcome back to another unboxing and i guess install so this finally came in the mail today and it is a thrust mask it's a wheel stand pro for thrust master wheels wheel stand pro you can get one that's for thrust master wheels and then get one that's for logitech wheels so this one is for my t15 t150 t150 i'm gonna put everything together and then try out the wheel so from the instructions it looks pretty simple um start with the look like you start with the floor yeah, I guess so. And then boom and boom. All right, so literally just four steps. Wheel, and then the thingy, and then the thingy, and then the thingamajiggy. Remember how I told you guys it's two setups? So you have this for the for the Thrustmaster wheels, and then this is if you have the Logitech wheels. To be honest, it looked like it's a simple install. We got the, we got the tools and stuff in here. And we have the, the platform right here. Literally, it looked like it's already even it's already put together. You, I think you just got to put your wheel on. Oh, there are our tools. So it looks like they give you some, a wrench, some brackets, some screws. This is pretty much the whole install. Mm -hmm. All right, so I did some research and stuff. The instruction is really simple, but I'm gonna grab my wheel stand first and then bring it out there. All right, so I brought up my T150, and literally, what you have here on the on the wheel stand is you have an adjuster here for the height and an adjuster here for the angle of this. So if you pull this down, this is how it originally came in in the box, and then you just unloose this and pull it up. And adjust it how you want it. That's pretty much it. It feels good, it feels a good quality as well. First thing I'm gonna do is you bolt down the steering wheel, I mean, the pedals there, and then the steering wheel gets put on here, and then that's pretty much it. did first is I just place my pedal on here and it comes with this little rubber bar I mean red bar and the silver bar and literally just place the pedal put the silver underneath it and then line them up and then you're gonna use the allen key to screw it in that's how you secure your pedal what's cool with this is it comes with two rubber I guess you can say like a gap I don't know what you even call it but anyways it helps protect your wheel from rubbing against the actual metal so Make sure you have these things on and then just tighten it up. Things not going nowhere, look at that. I did not even notice until last minute, so I'm telling you guys now. So when you put your pedal on, make there's a rubber grommet right here. It's, the, it's two of them right here. You have to slide it up and put it right here. That way this plastic don't make contact with the metal. Same thing with this side. And also you have a rubber, rubber uh, whatever here, <laughs> and a rubber thing here too. Make sure it's sitting on the rubber, not the metal itself. I didn't even notice that. Also, the thrust mask, if you have a T-150, it has like a little hole for the wire to come out on both sides as well, which is pretty cool. Attack this steering wheel piece now. But um, if you're using, I believe this works with the T-500, pretty much majority of all the T-wheels. In this case, I'm using my T-150, and before we mount it up there, we are gonna actually take off the, this is the clamp that it came with where you can um, pretty much mount it to a desk. And those days are over. So let's take this off. Okay, so that's off. And then this little plate is how it's able to mount many different wheels. For this guy, what we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen this bolt and then bend it upward. That's why they give you a little wrench. And remember, righty tidy, lefty loosey. All right, so we're gonna turn this bad boy up. And literally all you're gonna do is use the original clamp and clamp it to here and then that's pretty much that's it. So pretty much you're gonna just, when you tilt this, this guy up, put the wheel on, and then the original clamp that it came with, I don't know what I was talking about. So I think I said you can take this off, you don't take this off. You can leave this on. And then once you got it on here, make sure it's on and just tighten it up like, as if this was a desk, pretty much. And then you'd be good to go. Um, with your wiring, what a lot of people do is have the wire come down and wrap around the pole and disperse wherever. So I may figure it out. 
But um, let me get this thing into the room and then see how we're gonna set this guy up. This is definitely gonna change my whole racing sim, anything I use the wheel for experience because look at this. This thing looks nice. So what I did is for the pedal, um, remember how I said that they had the holes for the wire to come out from the pedal to connect to the whole steering wheel? I just had the wire run underneath. So it comes right here and then just twirl it around and it's a lot clean. And all I have hanging up the back is just the power and the USB to either to the PS4 or to the computer. But look at that, that thing is clean, you know? So this combo right here, it's like the ultimate setup. And look, even got the red and black, the red and black, and then the blue wheel kind of throw it up a little bit, but it's whatever. But this is pretty much how your view is gonna look. You have your steering wheel sit up here and then just have your pedals right back there. All right, do not flame me. I realized that the bar, the red bar is crooked. I fixed it after the video. I just peeped, I don't know what I was thinking, but that's crazy. In the future, I'm going to be using this when I'm playing American Truck Sim and you know, a set of Corsa and Gran Turismo and everything. And I'll give another review of how the wheel feel, but this is way better than just having it clamp on the desk. Cause before what I had to do was push the keyboard back, clamp on the desk and it's shaky on the desk and shaking the whole desk. And the pedals, it's just on the floor. So there's no adjustability. You know, with this, you can um, release this guy and it'll either send the, you can push the, the steering wheel forward or back and you can get readjusted. You can even move the pedals up if you ever wanted to, too. But I mean, it's perfect all the way back. It's like the perfect setup. Now, since if you're using a T150, this plate right here that has the holes where you bolt them in, you can, it's not for the T150. So with the T150, you use the original clamp bracket that comes with it and just tighten on this bar and you're good to go pretty much. I highly recommend it if you want to up your racing, I guess simulation gaming thing, whatever. We made this far in the video. Thank you for watching the whole video. I really appreciate that. This video is not a professional install video for the Wheelstand Pro. And majority of all my videos are not. It's just literally me unboxing it, playing with it, and try to put it together and see if I can figure it out. So thank you guys for watching and um, stay tuned for more videos, vlogs, whatever. And I'll see you guys in the next video.